ritual has already begun. You have Blaze to thank for this. If not for him, everyone would still be alive. Well, this is not a good situation. Oh. Magical vines are difficult to remove. I'll try to clear the way and you search the area. Maybe you'll find something to help remove them faster. I mean, I'll try at least. Uh, okay, so we're, we're going to give a raspberry to this cute little guy. And that's going to give us some grass. I need uh, a glove. Well, I have a glove uh, to get past those thorns. And that's going to give me this little trowel. So we need to save Ruby. Ruby's on the other side of here. She's still she's still a deer, so we're going to have to save her. We need to get rid of these bees by starting a little fire with the straw. Looks like we can uh, zoom in on this. I'm going to use my trowel. Usually trowels are for digging, but I guess they uh, also work for smashing away pieces of wood. Let me smash this last one there. Oh, well, there's another one. Okay, this gives us a puzzle. Um, gosh, it looks like we can't try to solve the puzzle yet. So uh, let's zoom in on this area instead. Oh, uh, what's the thing to start this puzzle? To secure the locations of the rituals, druids use protective barriers made of vines. To break down the defense, they have a sickle with magic. They usually keep the sickle here. Ah, so we're going to find the sickle. So that's that's good. Uh, we, we need to find Sickle. Oh, and we need to zoom in on these vines. That's what I was missing. Here at the vines, we have feathers. Yeah, the vines are the last thing we're going to look at. So I was thinking, oh, well, that's the last thing I need to do. But no, it looks like it was one of the first things I need to do because it gives me the feathers to unlock this hidden objects challenge. We need to find the mortar and the pestle. We need to find this little broom. We need to take the string and put it here to make a dream catcher. We need to find some sort of dead flower. That's gross. Uh, mushrooms, a uh, fire starter. I don't see one of those. Berries, a skull, a ring, uh, lots of coins. We have circular things, which are not actually coins. Those are runes. And that's how you know there's going to be another hidden objects challenge here, because it's like those are clearly items we're supposed to be collecting. Uh, there's the fire starter. There's a pendant. Skull, berries. Uh, I moved those things away for a wooden rune. Uh, there's the ring. And then the last coin. Where, I'll, I'll use a hint for the last coin. Oh, it's on the pumpkin. No wonder I didn't see it. So that gives me a fire starter. And I'll use the fire starter. Oh. I thought I would use the fire starter on the straw, but no, it's use the straw on the fire starter. Sometimes video games confuse me like that. I'm like, oh, that's that's kind of the opposite of what I expected. But whatever. Uh, I, I now have burning straw. Let's get rid of the bees so I can steal their stuff. Mm, honey. I'm not actually going to get the honey. I'm just going to grab these oak leaves for one of these puzzles. You might have seen them in other games. Where you, you click a button and everything moves around. And you want all these things to be in the right order. But it looked like none of them are. So I'm going to rotate all of them. And then try again and see if any is good. Oh, the bottom two looked great. The bottom two looked great. But the top two still don't look good. So I'll rotate the top two again. Ah, it looks like the upper right hand one uh, needs to be moved once more. So we'll, we'll try it once more. And now they're all in the center in the right spot after having uh, rotated the correct number of times. That's probably the magic sickle. Today's my only chance to bring back Elizabeth. I can't afford mistakes. I'm sure Blaze will look for Ruby and probably find me. I have to dismantle the only artifact that can deprive me of my magic. Whoa! -ho -ho! This will get rid of your magic, this artifact? Well, thank you for letting me know that, sir. <laughs> I'm totally going to stop him now. Uh, to remove the vines, you need to use this recipe. Take the sickle, find the runic feather. Um, seems complicated, but we have a hidden objects challenge. Maybe that will uh, find everything for us. So we're going to grab this hammer. We're going to use the hammer on this bottle. That's going to give us a key. I imagine we're going to use the key on this. And it looks like we can't pick up those things quite yet. Uh, this knife is dull. I need to sharpen it. I'm going to grab this crystal and put it into place with the other crystal. That's going to give me the code to open up this thing. The code is... A 
gives me some candy. I'm going to use the candy on the ants to get the ants off of that rune, because I need the rune. Uh, the three runes are going to go on this thing, by the way. Uh, doesn't look like we can pick up the other runes yet. I can pick up this now. It's a whetstone that will sharpen the knife. And then I'll use this newly sharpened knife to cut this. Giving me a ring. Uh, use the ring to open up this. Scroll for another rune. We're just going to go into place here. It says we are going to solve a puzzle with this. Oh, didn't know it was a puzzle. So it's a simple enough puzzle. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Just put everything into place. Come on, come on. There we go. That gives me the final rune. Now all the runes are together, and we get the magical ink, which we can use to stop the villain. That's good. That's good. So we found the runic ink. Uh, let's follow the recipe, though. So we need the ink. We need the sickle. And I need a feather. I have the feather. I guess we just need the feather to write on the sickle. Really, we probably could have just used a stick from the ground. Anything. Who cares? Uh, magic Sickle's gonna go over here, and like I said, the last thing on this screen is using the Magic Sickle, so we need to cut everything down uh, in the correct order. So first is this symbol. Next is uh, this symbol, and it doesn't kind of look the same. This looks like a letter X, whereas this looks like two flags or a letter P, but that's okay. Uh, next we have this symbol. Next we're gonna have this zigzag symbol. Yeah, I mean, the symbols are rotated, obviously. That makes the puzzle a little bit more difficult. Well done. You cleared our path. We should make a plan. How about I attack Dakmore to distract him while you free Ruby and break the spell on her? Sounds good. Wow. I, I mean, you fight the villain while I don't? That's a great plan. I love it. I'll be safe. No, I won't let you interfere. I'll destroy your amulet, and you'll never be able to restore Ruby's human form. Oh no! Roland, amulet. I'll detain him, and you take care of Ruby. So the two of them are basically going to be wrestling for the rest of the game <laughs> as I save Ruby. Okay, I'm going to grab this. I need to light the torch so we can find a hidden item there inside the statue. I mean, I should be able to just reach my hand there and grab the item. But no, no, I need to find the hidden item. Uh, I need to find... Is the machete used here? I need to find an item to grab this. It's not the magic signal. Oh, I have the artifact wings. Just need one more item to fix that artifact. Now, over here is Ruby. Sacred Grove's always been imbued with natural magic attracting druids. I'm gonna grab, uh, grab these things. Hi, Ruby. She is tied down, though. Oh, oh, and here's a magic item. I found something important to Ruby. Now, I need to break her curse. But first, I must fix the amulet. Yeah, yeah, we're got, we've got to fix the amulet first and undo the curse. She's fine. She can't go anywhere or do anything. That's generally not very fine, but it's probably for the best right now. I use the machete to grab some other items from this area. And let's see. Now I can probably put the torch into place, use the fire starter on the torch, grab the final item there. It says uh, the statue needs a diadem. I'll put the diadem in place because I just got a diadem. Excellent. I got a little horn as well. That's the item I'll use here. It's going to give me the last amulet part. We put all the amulet parts together. This should be a simple jigsaw puzzle. Thank you for fixing the amulet and saving me. Find an item Ruby values, and I'll help break the spell on her. Hurry. We're running out of time. Well, I have an item she values. It's our wedding ring. Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. There's more? After the druid refused to take back the magic, Blaze became enraged. 
He lost control of himself, and his magic started changing. It became more powerful, dangerous, and cruel. He began a battle against Dathmore, but just as victory was within his grasp, Elizabeth, the druid's wife, decided to intervene and save her beloved. Tragically, the druid's magic accidentally hit her, killing her almost instantly. In an instant, Elizabeth transformed into a beautiful flower, and Dakmor, blinded by grief, turned to dark magic to resurrect her. He knew his chances were slim, and that the only surefire way of reuniting with his beloved was to transform himself into a flower, so they were intertwined. But he decided to try his luck. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. Okay, so there is a little bit more to the story. A little bit more about why uh, the evil villain actually blames... Actually blames our, uh, our hero, Blaze. Yes, I guess he's a hero. Really, I think Roland, the character we're playing as, is the real hero. Because I'm the one who's going to help save Ruby. Okay, so I undo the, uh, the restraints, and now I use the ring on her. I need to get all three of these these things to reach the bottom of the screen. So I'll get rid of the ones on the right, and this one in the middle, and uh, this one in the middle. And that gets rid of all the places of ivy, so hopefully that helps of these reds here make that one drop a little bit more and I'm not really seeing any matches of three I mean that green one here we go got these blues out of the way and then these greens and moving those blues does nothing for me like that does not help oh here we go those purples nice nice this could be it Trying to get rid of these purples like that. Now I should be able to make a big chain of reds here. Allow me to make a uh, chain of purple here to save Ruby. Ruby, my beloved, are you okay? Say something. Roland, my dear. I'm so glad to see you. I never doubted that you would find and rescue me. I'm sorry I ran away from you earlier. I was just trying to save Blaze. Dogmore planned to use this crystal to take my life and transfer it to his wife. Perhaps it will help us defend ourselves against him. Take it quickly and help my father. I can see that he can't hold out much longer. All right, I will help him. I will help him. I'll help my father-in-law who was a werewolf and I didn't know anything about him until earlier today. Anyway, uh, <laughs> amulet is done. I think uh, artifact is done, sorry. Artifact's done, we're gonna use it on Blaze, the run! run! You and Blaze may have stopped the ritual, but this is not the end. I'll see my plan through no matter the cost. me or did the music get louder for this final puzzle? So with this we need to move the numbers so their connected lines intersect the number of times indicated. Yeah, that's tough. So I'm going to move the zero out of the way because that's the, that's the one that's correct if it's there. So three, I'm going to probably have to move the three here. Ah, but they need to overlap and so it's probably like I have to move the three over here. So the three is touching five times which is actually not good. Um, and this too needs to be touching like twice, so that's not good. Um, but here now that three is done, that three is correct, and uh, this three is correct. Let's. This two is not correct though. Let's see if I can mix up these threes. Now all the threes are correct, but the twos are not correct. Oh, and this one three is not correct. like this, and then like this, something like that. And this two, that two is connected like four times, which is obviously not correct. Gosh. I should get like this three in the middle, and 
now that two is good, but now this three is not connected to anything, unless I make it two like that. Oh, if only I could make this one three. Oh, and the zero is completely incorrect now. Um, move that three over there. That three over there. Get this two to somehow intersect with that three. And it should be good, but that was that. Wow. Very difficult puzzle. It is the final puzzle of the game. Uh, so this three is not good because it needs to mix with another three. That will mess up the two. And I can swap like these two, two and the three. That fixes the two. Messes up that three. Gosh. Let's try this again. Uh, it's gonna have to be something like the twos on the bottom. Yeah, okay, so, uh, that two is wrong. Did I get it somehow? What did I do? I somehow got it! Hooray! Elizabeth, my dear, I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. If I can't bring Elizabeth back to life, then I'll join her myself. The whole ordeal is behind us. And now, Ruby and I can get married. Ruby, my dear, will you marry me? Yes. Aww, happy ending. And Grandma got to come to the wedding. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Well done! Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, that's the game. I do have a bonus game, so I'll, I'll be doing a few more videos where I play the bonus game. Make sure to check them out. Also do a bunch of bonus videos, too. <laughs> like, here's a video on how to do all the hidden objects challenges. Here's a video on how to solve all the puzzles, including that terrible one at the end, which was really confusing. <laughs> and, of course, I've done walkthroughs for all the other Living Legends games. Well, maybe not all of them, but uh, a lot of them. So you can check out those walkthroughs, too, if you want. Want to. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day.